Welcome back to West Falmouth, Massachusetts. My name is Dennis Kentop. I am one man, and this is the Cape Project. We've had some challenges from the very beginning of how I was going to heat this sunroom. Uh, it was a space that's got air all the way around, so the, the floor is no different than an outside wall, same amount of cold. So I couldn't run my pipes in through that space. I wasn't sure how to do it. In my mind, I'm going, well, we'll use fin tube. I'll build it up, and we'll put a transition in. So I want to show you why I found warm board useful in our product, how it's perfect for us, and why you ought to try it out sometime if you ever have the need. So one of the things we have here is we have wall fin tubes. How they get their heat is there's a cabinet on the wall and there's a fin tube in it. And it's called radiant heat because it just radiates out. As you can see here by our floor of the sunroom that's now going to be the kitchen. See how the air right outside that's 8 inches thick, some foam, and we've got the cold. So it's different than if you were heating a basement or a crawl space. So in my thoughts, well, I'll just build up the floor conventionally, and I'll put a transition in it. Well, that's three inches thick compared to the existing floor being an inch and a half. So with the warm board, it's an inch and an eighth, it's structural. That's dug fir plywood that I can span my 16 inches on center, and there's my heat tube. So I can make the floors real warm, but look, three-eighths or inch and a half. So that's the warm board, that's a structural board. In the bedroom, why I want to use warm board is currently they've got half-inch plywood, 16-inch centers, and then the wood flooring. It has some bow to it, and it's, it's just not tight, it's not comfortable, and I don't like wall radiators. So if you look at this, this is called Warm Board R. It's made out of an OSB board. And I, I have those tubes in there, and that'll be able to heat the floor. If we were using conventional methods, I'll bet you I'd have to be at least 12 inches on center. I think the Warm Board's 18. In the Warm Board, another thing about it is it has this aluminum panel, 0 0.025 thickness of aluminum. And it's got paint over it so I don't get blinded as I'm putting in. I put this warm board down, drywall, anything I want. I'd still cover it. It's a, a sturdy product. I wouldn't have to, but I'm a guy that keeps things clean. And that's how the warm board's going to look when it's down with the pipes in it. And they have different patterns depending on how you're going to run it. That space at the top. It would be like a plumbing wall, so it's okay to drill through it. No matter what, you can't hit a pipe because they're all exposed till you cover them up. The other thing nice about warm board is if you had a concrete floor and you wanted to turn it on like mine in my basement, get it up to 70 degrees, it'll take 8 to 10 hours. Warm board will do that in approximately 2 hours, maybe 2 and a half hours. So those are the reasons I use warm board. As I continue to work through it, and I have costs on the warm board and the piping, I'll show you how it's actually more economical to use that than to go back and move all this copper, put in all new radiators because you wouldn't use old ones. So I'll get back to you in the next few days, still working on my pricing on that one. Thanks for stopping back at the Cape Project. I am Dennis Kintop. I am one man, and I'm glad you were here today. Talk to you soon. Bye.